What's going, on, going on guys, EC here, and so we're going to be looking at my Game Boy and Game Boy Advance game collection. I know I did a video like this a few months ago, but I, I want to like, you know, take some stuff out, like show what I've got, show some new stuff I've got. Obviously, all the stuff in the background, and obviously, this is obviously my new setup, so let's have a look. So, first we've got this Game Boy Advance, obviously, Dawn Tattoos. This is obviously lovely, lovely version of this, lovely, nice, it's in good quality condition. I got this like 40 quid a few years ago, so does that. We also have in this little carry case, I've got this case free by the way, for those wondering. We have my pink and purple pink GBA. I got one of these so I could be matching with Sash the Sloth, so there's that. And also, no, okay, there's no, uh, the uh, adapter that I've got isn't in there, so it's not in there. Okay. So they're the Game Boy Advances. So let's have a look at the games. So we've got there's a new one to my collection, F1 Race. So it's literally just a racing game, you know, nothing particular. Although for a game called F1 Race, if it was anything besides a racing game, I'd be a little bit confused. Next we have uh, Game Watch Gallery 2, obviously I've got, I think I've got two of the gallery, Game Watch Gallery, I think I've got two of the collections in this, so let's see what else we've got. We also have um, Game Boy Color Game, we have a Tweety, Tweety's Terrifying Adventure, so uh, yep, you know, like me a few Looney Tunes, we also got Pokemon Gold, obviously. It's Pokemon, who, what else you have to say, Pokemon was huge on the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance line of consoles. We also have this game, which is Spyro Seasons of Ice. I have two copies of this game for some reason, so if anyone, you know, local wants a copy, just let me know. There's my other copy of Seasons of Ice. Right. Then we have Toy Story Racer. I forget they made a Toy Story racing game. I didn't. They, they, I keep forgetting they make Toy Story. They made Toy Story games back in the day anyway. Toy Story was huge back in the 90s. Like, I don't, I think after, like, this third movie, they should have stopped making them. Like, honestly. Here's my uh, wireless adapter. You can basically use this to trade with other people on Game Boy Advance to play Pokemon. And you also have uh, SimCity 2000, which is obviously a Game Boy Advance port of SimCity 2000. We also have Star Wars Episode 1, Obi Wan. Obviously, Obi Wan Kenobi being probably my least favorite, one of my least favorite Star Wars characters, to be honest. I, I always found him like condescending. I don't really like Obi Wan Kenobi. I always preferred. Uh, Obviously, Luke, Anakin, R2, even the newer stuff. I prefer the newer characters over Obi Wan. Like, I got my, and this might say, make me seem unpopular. I prefer Ray over Obi Wan. Then we have Action Man on the Game Boy Color, which is obviously based on a bunch of, I think it's like a, a figure line. What I know is uh, I used to work with someone who used to dress up as a soldier, and one of my colleagues used to always call him Action Man. So, there's that. We also have Spider Man, based on the original uh, Tobey Maguire film from 2002. We have Spyro Two Seasons of Season of Fire, because obviously you can't have fire. You can't have fire that ice, guys. Come on, we all know the rules. We always have Wave Race on the Game Boy. Obviously, this is weird. Game Boy Wave Race is a weird series. Obviously, you had this one game, and they had this N64 game, and they never, they never touched it again. So, Nintendo, if you're listening or anyone from who's watching, please bring it back. Like, come on, man. Like, you need something besides Mario Kart. We also have uh, Super Mario Land Two to six gold coins. We also have Gremlins 2. This game doesn't actually work. It plays the music, but it doesn't actually let me play the game. So I'm keeping it in my collection. I'm going to have to get Sasha to sloth have a look at it. She's a good at modern stuff. And then we've got Eland Crystal Wars. Obviously, this is a homebrew game based on a cancelled Doom game. Not Doom, Dune. Uh, obviously, by uh, Retro Room Games. Pretty epic uh, guy, to be honest. John, John from Retro Room. Pretty epic guy. Pretty good customer service. Really lovely chap as well. You got F Zero Maximum Velocity, so we got that one. Like, yeah, they need to bring back F Zero. Can we get another F Zero, please? Like, I'm sick of Mario Kart. Can we get another F Zero? Come on, like, let's be honest, right? F Zero is underrated. Where is the next? Where is the new game? We haven't had a new game since like what 2003. Then we have Warrior Land Two, which, funnily enough, if I'm if if I'm not mistaken, Warrior Land's actually starting on the start on the Virtual Boy. So I know there was a Virtual Boy uh, Wario game, and then obviously. The Virtual Boy kind of just died. No, nobody bought the Virtual Boy. It was kind of a kind of a garbage console, to be honest. Then we have Dual Masters. This is based on the beloved Yu-Gi-Oh franchise. Remember back in the day when, when four kids entertainment before Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh was going to do better than better than uh, better than Pokemon. Yeah, they were dead wrong. They were dead wrong. Then we have Chicken Run. Who doesn't have a bit of Chicken Run? You know, there's a new film coming out soon on Netflix. I'm not sure if I'm going to watch it or not yet though. I've seen the trailer. The trailer looks alright, to be fair. We have Turok Rage Wars. Obviously, if you saw one of my more recent videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Turok, so hopefully 
well, at least a fan of uh, the game from now that's owned by Atari. So hopefully that this game gets re-released on like digital platforms soon. Because obviously I know the Game Boy versions of these games were a lot different. Then we have Ants, which doesn't work. I'm just going to go get that stuff have a look at it. See, I kind of feel like that's what it is with me and Sasha. Sasha's basically my uh, modder. And then we have Spider-Man on, based on the cartoon on Game Boy Color. Nice, you know, made back division and Marvel. I remember back in the day, like Marvel, you have a load of games made back division. Then we have Quest Rest, also by uh, John Roo, uh, Retro Room Games. Like I said, this guy makes some pretty good games. This game's also on the Evercade, so if you have an Evercade, you can actually play this in a coloured screen rather than just uh, black and white. Then we have. Oh, we have a Barbie game. This is a Barbie game. I, I literally bought this because the Barbie movie was trending. So I thought, hey, I'll buy this and just make a short of it and get a thousand views. And that's what I did. So, yeah, I own a Barbie game. Just because I wanted to get some views. Then we have Game Watch Gallery 1. Obviously, this is a nice little Game Watch Gallery uh, game. Then we have Tweenies Doodle, <laughs> Doodles, Doodles Bone. Obviously, it's Tweenies, something I grew up with. It was huge when I was younger. Like, I don't even know if they still make it or not. Then we have Game Watch Gallery 3. So, no, I have all the Game Watch Gallery games. Okay. I have all three of them, so that's interesting. I'm finding out news to me, too. Then we have GTA on the Game Boy Advance. We have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on the Game Boy Advance. And we also have Shrek 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Like I said, I have quite, my Game Boy Advance collection is quite a weird one. It's got quite a weird selection of stuff, to be honest. Then we have Ultimate Spider-Man, based on the Ultimate Comics, not the, not the TV show. Because this, sh this TV show came out like four years after the Game Boy Advance discontinued. Then we have Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and Wardrobe. Which, obviously, I was never really a huge fan of Narnia. But from what I understand, they're like public domain in a few years anyway. So then we have, then we have what's it, <laughs> Freestyle Scooter. Because Ubisoft had to hop on the skateboarding trend. But they couldn't do, they didn't want to do a skateboarding game, so they just did a scooter game. Then we've got a, Mickey, a Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, obviously. Mickey Mouse being the main character. Then we have Driver 2 on the game. That's Driver 2, obviously. Who doesn't love to drive the games? I kind of wish Ubisoft would bring these back, but I also do kind of wish Atari would acquire the rights to this franchise as well and get it back. Like, come on. It would be epic to see Driver come back. I want to see Driver come back so bad. We have Simpsons Road Rage, because obviously... Who doesn't get road rage from watching Bar Simpson on his skateboard? Come on, man. Then we have Rayman Fury. Because the others weren't available. If you guys don't get the joke and you think I mean about the other games, I'm not talking about the other games. I mean, like, Rayman 1 and 2. The characters weren't available. So the clone was, yeah. Then we have Dragon Ball. Because who doesn't love a bit of Dragon Ball? Then we have V Rally 3, which. This franchise was dead for years after this game came out, and then they made V Rally 4 by a completely different publisher, a completely different. Yeah, it was, it was really weird. It was really weird. Then we have Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy. So, I know. Oh, the video game, no, this is the prequel trilogy, not the original, so there's that. And then we have Road Rash, you know, famous EA franchise before EA became garbage. Then we have Alex Rider Stormbreaker. Because Alex Ryder is a thing. Then we have Spider-Man 2. Because obviously Spider-Man 2 based on the, original, on the second movie. Then we have Space Invaders. So obviously as you can see I've got a nice little... <laughs> so I've built up a nice little, uh, nice little stack right here guys. So yeah guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Is there any Game Boy Advance games you're looking for? Any Game Boy games that you're looking to try and grab? What do you about my collection? Do you think it's a good collection, bad collection? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you need to make sure you subscribe. Like, share, comment, turn notifications. I've been easy. I'm signing out. Peace.